Hello, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a bullet fire from a gun. And it shoots you out and pick up speed while shooting. You can see up here, watch. Oh. Oh. So I'm just like um, scripting there. This is a much more complicated bit. It took a while to do all this. So it's in the So this is my person. I'll just quickly go on into this thing in your costume. And this thing will be weird. If I move this guy, which is the boy. And if I do this. Oops, I wonder why. What's the wrong person? Clean the bullet. And take this off. This was my bullet's original size. I just did set size 25. Whoops. 25%. So it makes it look smaller. So I drew these both up and yeah. Like I said, you can sit here, paint it. Or you could use something like this. Uh sprite from the library. But anyway, let's get started. First we'll do the basic controls, which will be one click and two ifs. Actually no one if and key space press motion point in direction and change x by 6 and then you want to right click on this and duplicate that put that there so I'm negative and then choose what keys you want to move This would be a, and you also want to put a forever loop all around this. So the control is something else. You always seem to stuff this bit. I always get the wrong one. So you want to right click on this bit and see the board here. You want to put it inside the gun, you want to duplicate the script and put it inside the bullet and put it on a one click so then the bullet should move with your person ok oh you also want to get motion at pointing that direction to start ok so this bit is the more complicated bit let me get another one just to make it cleaner you want to get if then and an else sensing oops not that key space press or whatever you want to make this work by with you want to get another if and that you don't put it in this bit it is probably the hardest in the whole thing okay so you want to go into operator this equals it that you want to type in 90 here and then you want to go into motion go to the bottom of that and hit direction and if you should see up here it should show you the direction of the board facing and I just tick these two And then 
you want to do is get the go to. Operators plus motion and uh, probably just find out easier. Alright uh, guys, make sure you have this not on this or else we go upside down. You have this one which allows you to switch side to side. That's the truth you didn't know. So then you want to go into sensing. Next step is you go into sensing and go on to exposition of man. You want to put that there. You'll need another one. So you just duplicate this. So you want to change it to Y position. Okay. And you want to get this number, this X number, and this X number. Well, first you want to put the bullet inside the gun, sorry. Where your target from Y is going to be shooting from, so you want to get that number. Which is negative 32, and then this number, which is negative 87, and the difference in between. Then you want to find out the difference in between that. So, I'll just show you the formula. Get out the calculator. Calculator. So this was 32 and 8. So you want to come up. And in this case it equals 55. So then you want to go into bullets and type 55. I stuffed that one up. Then you want to get the Y of the meat. Which is minus 53 and negative 66. So again, 66 minus 53 is 13. Yeah, right. Then the root you want to type over here 13. So you want to duplicate that and then. Turn this into negative 90 and then right click here minus and put that in that if section and to check if it works you want to take this bit out oops and you also need a forever loop all over so you want to just check that it will meet up with your gun. So that is weird. You shouldn't be moving it up with it on the other side. Okay, there we go. So you see it should go inside of your gun. You can check that by just clicking this button. 
Okay. So then we want to also get a looks and put show at the very top. And in else you want to put hide at the top of that. And you want to grab this. Oops. I mean, you want to duplicate this script and just put it down there. And that should make it hide if it's not in five. This is a tiny bit more complicated part. I'm not actually no. I lied. It's not complicated. Well, yeah, I lied. So you want to run the make variable and the bullet speed. This will determine the speed of your bullet or whatever you want to call it. So you want to make sure it's on for all sites only and not this. The only instance you would use this is if you like wanted to make a high score and you like to show it across the whole server. So you want it for all sprites. And then you want to click OK. And there's your variable. And you want to go set speed to zero up here. And then down here you want to set the bullet speed to eight. Now you want to go into control and get Repeat until, repeat until, and then go into sensing, touching edge, and then this is very important. All of this is very important. Probably the most important bit was making this guy read. You want to change the bullet speed by one, and make sure you get this one like move. Steps block data, drag this and place it there. Then you should have a working gun. And if you wanna like make a hit and then it's going here and yeah. So you wanna change this that size and you should many. You would Change this to touching that one, or whatever you wanted it to be. You make a variable for this item and call it be life, or cat life, or whatever. And then you want to set that life to whatever number you want. In this case, I'll have it at five. And then you want to go. Forever. Oops. Go back into here and get an if. Sensing. Touching. Bullet. Data. Change. That life. Sorry. And then get to one. Oh, but sometimes it's a glue. You have to be near the number and change it by zero point five maybe. Right, would this work? Okay, that works. So just change it by zero point five. It would probably change in the size of your target. And then control, and then you go into control if. This will make your guide the bat die when it's run out of lives. Zero data bat life looks hide or you want to do this or something. Looks and then say you win. One, two, three, four, five. You win! Yay! And that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. Note there is a bug when you shoot and you change direction. It doesn't destroy. And when the bat is destroyed, it will unstop.
thanks for watching and I hope this helps you.